Hello, my name is Alex Petrochan. In this tutorial, I'm going to present you a solution on how to send information between window types applications in C++ or between multiple instances of the same application. If you go into Visual Studio and create a new project, from the Visual C++ tab, select Windows Desktop, then Windows Desktop application, hit OK. Visual Studio is going to create for you a project that looks similar with this one. And what we are going to use from this is the init instance function that initializes, creates, and shows the window. And the wnd proc, which is a callback that processes messages for the main window. In the global variables tab or section, I added two variables, a boolean that we are going to check if there's another instance of this project running, and the uint, which we initialize with the return value of the register window message function. This function registers an ID for the specified string. In the init instance function, I added a create mutex function. This function creates a named or an unnamed mutex object and gives ownership over it to the first thread that opens it. So if a thread already created this mutex and another thread is trying to create it again, we are going to get an error that says error already exists and at that time we are going to set the value of our boolean to true after that we we'll let the window create and check if there is another instance running if there isn't we let the window show an update but if it is we don't let the window show an update and try to send an information from this second instance to the first instance the information that I want to send is the command line arguments. This get command line function returns the path to the executable that this project is associated with. In order to send a message, we create a copy data struct object and initialize the ID, the size, and the information that we want to send. The ID is the, the one that we created up here. The size is maxpad, which is 260. And the information that we want to send is the command line arguments. Before we send the information, we have to create a handle to the first instance. Before we create that handle, we have to destroy this window because the first and the second instance have the same name. After we successfully create a handle to the first instance, we can send a message to it using that handle, the wm copy data id, and the third and the fourth parameter of the send message function can be used to send information. I am going to use the fourth parameter, which is lparam, to send the information. Now, as the second instance, we send an information to the first instance. As the first instance, we are going to have to listen in our callback to check for messages. I added this case here to check if the message that was received has the wm copy data id which we specified when we send the message. If it does, we handle that event. In this function, we create a structure to extract the information that was sent from the second instance. Before we extract the information, we check if that structure contains the ID that we specified when we sent the information. If it does, we extract the information and we will try to print a message box with, this, with the information that was received. Before we print a message box with the information that was received from the second instance, we will first set the first instance as the foreground window. What this does is if at that time the first instance is minimized or in background, it's going to show it in front. That's it. Let's test if it works. I opened the first instance, which is this one. 
this is the first instance and from the project debug I'm going to try to open a second instance and it print me a message that says see users uses documents visual studio projects tutorial debug tutorial.exe which is the path to this executable also I can create a new txt file give it a name and give it an extension that does not exist like t and we can associate this file with our executable so at this point we associated this file with our executable this will always also try to open a second instance of the project and because this is an associated file it should the command line function should return us the path to the executable that this file is associated with and the path to the file itself so it did that okay that is basically it i hope you found this useful and don't forget to like and subscribe the page thank you have a great day